we actually have had to endure a fairly dry stretch of weather over the last several days. But if you remember, we started off spring in the beginning of summer with incredible amounts of moisture. Breaking down more on how much that moisture has benefited our region is meteorologist Joe Brook. You're not crazy. 2023 has been a wildly active severe weather season so far. This graph says it all for me. So far, we have had 654 severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings issued by our National Weather Service office in south, the southeastern portion of the state. The old record 2021 was only 321 alerts. We're over double that already this year. And you really see that when we talk about significant hail reports across the entire state. El Paso County is the hail capital of Colorado. 175 large hail reports so far this year. The last year, we only saw 18. That is an over 800% increase in hail reports so far. When we switch gears and look at this active severe weather season, it leads to a lot of rain, a lot of precipitation. Our yearly 12 month average, it's just north of 15 and a half inches. This year, we're already roughly seven inches over that at about 22 and a half inches. We have four months left to go breaking the old record or at least attempting to of 27 and a half inches. We need about five more inches of rain and snow over the next four months to do that. You then shift gears, take a look at all the rain that we've received so far. Drought conditions are as good as they, as they have looked in years. We've been in this significant drought for about four years. Now the front range is almost still entirely drought free. To this point, less than 14% of Colorado is under drought conditions. What's that mean? The southwestern corner has minor drought conditions, some severe in the San Luis Valley, but a majority of the front range, a majority of the plains are drought free. You may ask, why is that important? Well, right now we're entering a transition month. Fall is 22 days away. September is a slow, dry and windy month. So the lack of drought conditions should help mitigate this second fire season we're approaching, if you will. Reporting from the Weather Deck, meteorologist Joe Rook, KRDO News Channel 13.